Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green triangle and this uh, blue semicircle inscribed in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, semicircle has been given to us uh, as pi divided by 2 centimeter square. And moreover, this uh, line E, B is tangent to this uh, semicircle. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. We know that the area of this uh, given uh, semicircle is uh, pi divided by 2 centimeter square. So let me write down the area of this semicircle is pi divided by 2. Then the area of the full circle is going to be twice of that one. So we are going to multiply this one by 2. So 2 and 2 cancels out. So that means the area of the full circle is going to be pi. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius of this circle. So in our case, the area of this full circle has been given to us as pi. So pi, we can manipulate this thing could be written as pi times 1. It doesn't make any difference. And 1 could be written as 1 square. So therefore, over here, our radius is going to be 1. So therefore, the radius of this semicircle turns out to be 1 centimeter. And now we can see that this uh, OD and uh, this uh, OC are the radii of this uh, semicircle. So that means this is radius R and this is radius R. And we figured out our radius is uh, 1. So therefore, this radius OD is going to be 1 centimeter and this uh, radius OC is going to be 1 centimeter as well. So therefore, this total uh, side length of this square CD is going to be sum of these uh, two numbers, 1 uh, plus 1, that is going to be equal to 2 centimeter. So therefore, the side length of this square ABCD turns out to be 2 centimeter. And we know that all the side lengths of a square are same. So if this is a 2 centimeter, this side has got to be 2, this is 2, and this is 2 across the board. And here's our next step. Let's recall this two tangent theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, then they are congruent. As you can see in this uh, diagram, these uh, two tangent segments, this one and this one, they are congruent. So therefore, in our case, uh, this uh, line segment uh, BC is congruent to this uh, line segment uh, BF since they are tangent to this uh, very same circle. So therefore BF equals to BC and we know our this uh, BC length is 2 centimeter so therefore this uh, length uh, BF has got to be 2 centimeter as well. So therefore our BF uh, length turns out to be 2 centimeter. And now let's assume that this uh, side length uh, DE is uh, x centimeter. And now let's recall this uh, two tangent theorem once again. If we apply this theorem on uh, this uh, part, we can see that these uh, two tangent segments uh, DE and this tangent segment uh, EF are congruent. So therefore, this line segment DE is equal to this line segment EF. If this uh, line segment is X, this line segment has got to be X as well. Therefore, the length for this uh, EB is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths X and 2. So therefore, this side length uh, EB is going to be X plus 2. Therefore, our this BE length turns out to be x plus 2 as you can see over here. And now let's focus on this uh, length uh, AD is 2 centimeter and this uh, length uh, DE is uh, x. 
So therefore, this length a e is going to be 2 minus x. So I can write 2 minus x. So therefore, our length a e is 2 minus x as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this green triangle a b e. And we know that this is a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is a 2. So this is going to become 2 square plus b in our case is 2 minus x whole square and c in our case is x plus 2 whole square. And now let's go ahead and simplify 2 square is going to become 4 plus. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity a minus b whole square. I'm going to apply it uh, on this part. So this is simply is going to become 4 plus uh, x square minus uh, 4x equals to and now let's recall another right entity a plus b whole square. I'm going to apply it on the right hand side. So this is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 4 plus uh, 4x. And now we can see that this x square from the left hand side and the right hand side they are gone. This 4 from the left hand side and 4 from the right hand side gone as well. So therefore we are ended up with the 4 minus uh, 4x equal to 4x on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and move this negative 4x on the right hand side. So therefore we are going to have a 4 equal to 4x and this become 4x as well. So therefore we got 8x equals to 4. Now let's divide both sides by 8 to isolate x. This 8 and 8 is gone. So therefore, our x value simply turns out to be 1 divided by 2. So therefore, over here, I'm going to replace this x by 1 divided by 2. So I'm going to write 1 divided by 2. So therefore, this is same as writing 2 minus 1 divided by 2. So 2 minus a half is going to give us 3 divided by 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height. In our case, our base is 2 and our height is 3 divided by 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the area of this uh, green triangle is going to be a half times our base is 2 times our height is 3 divided by 2. And now let's simplify the right hand side. This 2 and this half, they are gone. They are cancelled out. So the area turns out to be equal to 3 divided by 2, which is same as 1.5 centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 1.5 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.